All right, guys, what's going on? So I just uh, forced quit out of the game and I'm gonna hop back in here to check out the offers live. I've never done this before, um, so I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna go, but um, yeah, I just wanted to find out in real time what they're looking like. I have an idea of what I would like to see, an idea of what I would not like to see. So let's see um, how close I am here. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Oh, no, no. Okay. So these are the unit offers. Oh man, that's, uh, that's not a good sign <laughs> that they're still putting five star stuff in the uh, Thronebreaker unit offers. Okay. I'm going to reserve judgment for now. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the money offers. And before we do that, I know that people say this all the time. I just want to reiterate it, that if you're not in a position to buy these deals, um, don't do it. It's, I mean, they're really not worth it. Um, nine times out of 10, what they're doing is they're selling stuff to you that they're going to make available through content, um, you know, in the relatively near future. So just don't, um, don't feel pressured to buy this stuff. You know, if it's like, I mean, most of it's RNG based. If you can't do it or don't want to do it, then don't do it. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, well, actually, let's look at this first. Okay, so I already kind of commented on this. I do not like the fact that they put five-star signature stones and a five-star awakening gem and a five-star nexus crystal in this thousand dollar or this thousand unit offer. This is like... Like any, most people who are throne breakers are just like, you know, we have plenty of awakening gems. They make them super available, um, just completely unnecessary in my opinion. Okay. So then for 4,000 units here, um, three tier five basic, uh, they're already selling the tier six basic. So this almost looks like you almost have to pick it up for 4,000 units, a six-star nexus crystal. I wish they would have made this like a choose-your-own-class nexus crystal um, for free-to-play players. That's kind of what I'm expecting to see in the um, in the money offers, the cash offers. So I wish they would have done that here. And 26-star sigstone crystals. Ooh, yikes. I was really like wanting to... I was hoping that the one in 4,000 unit offers would be would be good um but they suck i don't even know if i'm gonna pick those up okay um so it looks like they're gonna give you a choice for the final one um let's see here so 70 for ten thousand units 75 six star sig stone crystals that's man that is not good for ten thousand units um, one six star 2020 Nexus Hero Crystal. I don't remember who all was released in 2020. It doesn't seem worth it to me. Um, and then RNG based crystals for uh, six star rank one to rank two and six star rank two to rank three. Um, okay, so that looks pretty bad. And then, or the other option, uh, so some. Wait, what? Tier 5 basic? Is that supposed to be tier 6 basic? I would assume that was supposed to be tier 6 basic. Um, 3 6 star sigstone selectors. Um, and you can get 10 of them okay that what the heck am i even looking at and four six star featured hero crystals or i'm sorry um four featured 
crystals, and I'm assuming it's the new featured crystal, and this featured crystal sucks, so... Okay, I don't know. I'm not I'm not free to play. Maybe that looks good to somebody who is free to play. Um, I'm not sure. To me, it looks bad. It looks like something that I am not going to be super tempted to spend units on. Okay, here we go. Uh, these are the money offers. So, um, some tier 5 basics, some 6 star shards for $5. Um, this is almost always like an obvious pickup for me. That's like 15,000 shards for $25 um, plus tier 5 basic fragments. Um, okay, $10 tier 2 alpha and 10% uh, T5CC. Okay. $30. This looks a bit better. And you can pick that up three times, so that's a pretty good amount of six star sig stones, but yeah, I just I don't understand why they're putting five star stuff in here. Um you know, I get it for like cavalier players or like uncollected players maybe, but um, I personally don't need um, a bunch of sig levels on my 5 star champions. Okay, um, so $50 here. Okay, I was kind of expecting this to be a class nexus crystal, not just a regular nexus crystal for $50. Um... Alright, and then some selectors. I, I definitely thought that was going to be a class nexus. But, let's see what the Odin has. So this is the same thing. Um, pretty sure. Okay, so I think this is the same thing that they did on Cyber Weekend. So they didn't... It didn't really go up. Is this like... Almost the exact same offer, actually. Hmm. Interesting. So not a ton of six-star shards. There's, um, you can pick up, you know, three regular Nexus crystals, um, three of the class Nexus crystals from the Odin. Again, I definitely thought that the class Nexus crystal was going to be in the $50 offer, because that's kind of the the um, cadence that they've been going with with these offers is like the previous big weekend sale. Um, yeah, the previous big weekend sale, they kind of like one up it and move stuff down a tier. But actually the um, the six star sig stones, I think were in the $30 offer last time too. So much, okay, so this is a lot less six star sig stones than I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's a lot more T5 class catalyst than I was expecting. I'm completely confused as to why they are uh, selling tier 4 class catalyst selectors. Maybe I'm just out of touch. I really, I mean, that's possible. I don't know. Um, hmm. And then I guess there's also um, some tier 3 alpha fragments in here as well. I don't know if this is going to be enough to get anybody to rank four six stars today. I hope it's not, but I just don't know for sure. So, okay, let me just go over it one more time now that I've read through it already. Peter Perkis wallet. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. I was expecting 5,000 six star shards. Um, it's 3,000. That's totally fine. Um... I'm not super impressed with Star-Lord's loot bag. Um, but I also don't need tier 5 class catalysts. Like, I'm pretty, pretty set on those. Um, it looks like here you can get, what is that, like 105 six star sig stones? Yeah, that's just, that's not as much as I thought it was going to be. But you also get 10,000 six star shards, and for some unknown reason, you get, uh, 50 five star sig stones. I mean, that's just... You literally get those for free, like, not the plus fives, but, you know, like, every every 22 hours, so... Man, there's just no reason to put that stuff in there. Um, okay, and then for $50, you're going to get... 
it. Um, the Nexus Crystal, which is which is cool. Um, and only 5,000 six-star shards instead of the 10,000 that you got with 30, but you also get the Nexus Crystal. I don't know. I think that I, like, if, if they just gave you, like, the amount of money and said, like, pick up whatever you want, you know, and you could spend up to a certain dollar amount, um, I think I would pretty much only get the Tony Stark's briefcase for the Sig Stones and, um, maybe, like, a couple Odins for the, um, class Nexus Selector. Overall, um... And this has the class, again, same thing as last time. That's so interesting. Um, some tier 2 alpha. And of course gold. Gold is a big thing uh, for me anyway. It's how I pay for AQ. Um, hmm. So overall I'd say that I'm like underwhelmed, I guess. Um, a little bit underwhelmed <laughs> compared to what I was thinking. Maybe I just like had my expectations set up too high. Um, you know, the, the cash offers or the money offers, that's, um, that's totally, you know, whatever. You get the unit, so it's all just a bonus. At the end of the day, it is, um, it is just extra stuff since you're getting the units. But these... I don't know. I feel like if I grind it out... Oh, was there a bonus offer that I missed? Hmm, there it is. Um, six-star generic awakening gem. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be picking up any of these. Like, maximum, maybe I will pick up the... Maybe the 4,000 unit one? I don't know. Um... Yeah, so look, for 4,000 units, it says 14,000 tier 6 basic catalyst fragments. And then for 10,000 units, it says 28,500 tier 5 basic catalyst fragments. So that, that has to be a typo. Hopefully it's not like that when you actually go in to buy it. Um, the Nexus Crystal for 4,000 units, I mean... It's over a hundred dollars. I was kind of hoping that that would be a class nexus crystal, and I was hoping that instead of trying to like milk out these last three thousand units down here, um, that they would just like throw in the awakening gem with one of the ten thousand unit offers. I think that it's like past time for that. They've been selling them for three thousand units for like a year now, so I don't know. That's kind of my my thought on it. Um, I'm going to make a separate video. And I'm going to like, um, like post my opening. Again, I'm not exactly sure what all I'm planning on buying yet, but you guys will find that out um, here in a little bit. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon.